Oh, so today I thought I would share my everyday go-to look using mostly drugstore products and a little skincare thrown in too. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare products, everything from drugstore to high end and everything in between. And today it's all about my go-to everyday look. Super easy, super simple using mostly drugstore products. When I say mostly, I mean about 95% and a skincare product that I've been testing out specifically for our under eye area. So without further ado, Let's get into the video. Okay, how you doing? It is going to be a two cup of coffee day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So would you believe it is back to school this week? I am freaking out. Summer's not over, guys. It's still August. It's August, can you believe it? I know I look kind of, uh, I look like I'm going back to school, but yes, school is starting back this week and I'm kind of bummed about it. I love having Ava around in the house. Of course, she's my 12 year old daughter. Since I'm gonna have a lot less time coming up this week, I thought it would be fun to share my everyday go-to makeup routine. Believe it or not, my everyday makeup routine is super simple. I just use very minimal products. I just want to highlight my features and have a beautiful glowy complexion. And I couldn't wait to share that with you. So let's start out with the under eye area. Now, I have no makeup on. I do have my eyebrows on and I, have been absolutely loving the e.l.f. brow kit. This retails for $4. I just go in with a spoolie and a little angular brush and just carve out my eyebrows. Lickety split, super easy. It looks natural. It stays on all day, but yeah, absolutely loving the e.l.f. brow kit. So for my under eye area, I'm going in with the Tula Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. You guys, I've been testing this out for the last couple of months and absolutely loving it. It's an eye balm that you literally just put on your under eyes. It looks like a big old balm. It has a cooling effect, which feels fantastic. So it kind of helps with swelling, with puffy under eye areas, with dry under eye area, and it instantly brightens the under eye. So you literally just swipe it on like that. And it has a wonderful cooling effect. Now, you know, I love the Tula Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. So when this came out, I couldn't wait to test it out on our mature skin. You know, it instantly cools. It instantly feels like it smooths out that under eye area. And I just tap it in and I just let that settle under my under eye area, let it absorb, but it really feels wonderful. It also gives that under eye area a brightening that we need in the morning. So love the Tula Glow and Get It Cooling Eye Balm. Now for primer and foundation, no surprise here, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. You guys, I've been absolutely loving this. It is the dupe to Charlotte Tilbury, but honestly, I prefer it over the Charlotte Tilbury. There's something beautiful about this because it has skin loving ingredients like hyaluronic acid and squalane, and it just gives your skin a natural radiant boost. And I'm in the shade two. I'm just gonna go ahead and place it right through here. And this is gonna double as my foundation and primer because I really want my skin to peek through. I'm just gonna use my fingertips and apply it. With the pigment that it has, it really evens out the complexion, smoothing on the skin, which I absolutely love. And it just provides just the right amount of pigment that I need on my complexion. But it is just beautiful. It doesn't pill up on my skin. Quick and easy to apply, gives your skin a natural boost and it just looks fantastic on the skin. Isn't that pretty? Now for concealer, I know, right? I'm just using this as my foundation. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This is such a beautiful concealer, it's super hydrating. It's drugstore, it's affordable. The only caveat that I don't like about this concealer is the pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump just a tiny bit on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna take my ring finger and just go ahead and tap it where I need the most brightening. Now, as you can see, my under eye is already brightened up from the too low and get it. So I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit of concealer right on the inner corner of my eye. You have to be careful with this concealer because it's full coverage. And just where I need brightening and lifting and cover up the redness. Even though I have that glow and get it from Tula, it actually just provides a smooth under eye area. The concealer is just gliding right on. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Dampen Beauty Sponge and just tap that in. And already I feel like my under eye area is hydrated, brightened, and then whatever's left on the sponge 
just go ahead and tap it there. Yes, this is definitely brightening. It doesn't look overdone. I tried different concealers in this method of applying my everyday makeup, but sometimes you can see where the concealer, cat hair, you could see with different concealers, you could see where the concealer starts, my regular complexion ends, but I found that the NYX Bear With Me Concealer is emollient enough and hydrating enough where you can't see that mark. It just kind of blends seamlessly from my under eye area down to my skin because I really just want to have that natural skin glow. That's it. That's all the complexion products that I'm using today. I'm gonna go in with bronzer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use my very well beloved L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Bronzer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it right where the sun naturally kisses my skin, just to add a little bit of glow. And even though it's a powder, it really smooths over whatever texture I have on my skin. So if you're not wearing a full-blown foundation, it really provides a smoothing effect on your skin. Now for blush, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush. This is in the shade Bermuda. You know I've been obsessed with everything e.l.f. recently because they have just upped their game. But this is a luminous putty blush that doesn't have any glitter or shimmer in it. And I'm just gonna take the heat of my fingertips and warm it up and then place it right above where I applied the bronzer. And I'm just tapping it in to get a little bit of color on there. I mean, look at the pigment on there. This is Bermuda. It is absolutely stunning. And I just wanna sheer it out. It really has fantastic longevity. It's not gonna budge or move on your complexion. It just really stays there all day long and that's why I love it. It just provides a rosy glow. The shade Bermuda is beautiful. I need some coffee. I need some coffee. Now, you know I love eyeshadow. I love eyeshadow palettes. I love reviewing them. But in my everyday routine, I just want to have a one and done look. And that's where the new e.l.f. No Budge Cream Eyeshadow comes in. You guys, these recently came out. I did a review on their No Budge Matte Shadow Sticks as well as their Metallic Shadow Sticks. But this, oh my goodness, this is a whole new level. Now, I picked up a couple of shades, but the shade that I absolutely love for every day, Sand Dune. You guys, this is so stunning. It is a cream to powder eyeshadow, and I swear it does not budge all day long. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my ring finger, and I'm gonna apply it right on my mobile lid. Now, I do have hooded eyes, but I promise you this does not move and I'm just gonna tap it on all over my mobile lid. It doesn't crease, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't budge, and then after you apply it on the lid, I mean, look at that color. Isn't that a stunning shade? I'm obsessed with this color. It looks natural, it looks beautiful, it's really smooth on my 55-year-old lids. Once you tap it on with your fingertips, I like to take a little fan brush and take it right above where my crease falls and just quickly blend it out. Now you do have time to blend it out. This is so creamy and I like to just lightly blend it out and then I bring it up above my brow bone like that. Cause I'm diffusing that shade and bringing it all the way up to the brow bone and it just looks so natural. Like seriously, one and done, that's all you need, $5. Oh my gosh. And they do have other shades, but I find that sand dune looks natural, it's so easy to work with, and I think it would complement anybody's skin tone. And when I mean it doesn't budge, it doesn't budge, and it doesn't crease on my hooded eyes. Now, you can just throw on mascara for that one and done look. If you feel like you need a little bit of eyeliner, you can always tight line your waterline, and that's what I'm gonna do. You know I absolutely love the L'Oreal Liner Signature Mechanical Pencil, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and tight line under my lashes, just to give a little bit more definition and pop. So now I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes. And we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Green Edition Mega Mousse Mascara. This is such a fantastic mascara. It's just gonna give me length, it's gonna give me volume. And at the end of the day, it's a super easy formula to wash off. It doesn't make my lashes feel brittle. It gives the definition that I want. It gives me the length that I want. It gives me the volume that I want, but at the same time looking really nice and natural. But this is an amazing mascara and I think it retails for like $11.99.
look at the difference of my eyelashes. But this is a formula that really is gentle on the eyes. Okay, let's go ahead and set the under eye area and I'm gonna go in with the Dominique Cosmetics Blurring Setting Powder. This is such a beautiful translucent powder because it actually blurs. I'm gonna go ahead and take it on a small tapered brush, put some in the lid. It's so finely milled. It has such beautiful blurring properties. It just really brightens up that under eye, sets the concealer in place because that Bear With Me concealer from NYX is quite emollient and this just really blurs that delicate skin area. And what I've been doing recently is taking the small tapered brush with a tiny bit of powder. I like to apply it right through here through my most porous areas and it completely blurs through here. And using this method of just applying it to my most porous areas gives me that more natural radiant look. So I'm not applying so many layers and layers of makeup onto my complexion to make it look heavy. I'm just focusing on my troublesome areas. See how it's blurring through here? And in the grand scheme of things, I'm not wearing a whole lot of makeup. I'm using less layers of makeup where my skin is actually peeking through. Now for lips, I like to go in with a nice sheer gloss with just a hair of pigment. And I've really been loving the NYX This Is Juice Gloss. It's infused with electrolytes and it's infused with color. I first picked up Strawberry Flex, but oh my gosh, I had to pick up another one and I picked up Pomegranate Clout. This is super hydrating and they smell juicy, fruity, yummy. It gives my lips such a juicy look with just the perfect amount of pigment. I find this pulls the entire look together. It's super hydrating. It comes in so many different shades. It's not sticky, it's not gloppy, and I'm really loving these. This is Juice Gloss from NYX. Totally affordable. I think they retail for like $8.99, but here you are, this is the final look. Now, I did not use a lot of products. I basically used the Halo Glow Liquid Filter as my primer as well as my foundation. I still wanna see my skin peeking through. You can still see my hyperpigmentation, my freckles, but I think that's what's unique about being our age. But this is so easy to throw on as a primer and as a foundation. It's multi-purpose, love it. And if you still want that extra glow of highlight, you can go ahead and pop it on as highlighter. And I'm just gonna do just that right through here. I love how my skin is looking. It looks fresh. It doesn't look over makeup-y or cakey. I use a minimal amount of products. Heck, if you wanna go ahead and put a little pop of highlighter up through here with the e.l.f., you can do that just to lift the eyes. But yes, this is my final look. I feel polished, I feel put together, so if I have to run and pick up my daughter from school because she violated dress code, well then, there you go. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and letting me share my everyday go-to makeup look. I had so much fun and I hope you did too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. And in case you wanna hang out a little bit longer and check out some foundation reviews, check out the playlist down here. And for skincare reviews, check out the playlist right over there. But for now, mwah, mahal kita, I love you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.